Pim said to me, should divulge more and say ask the question. That um, because of civil society, you can't keep me there. But at the same time, he's asking me to go in the field to work for the party to face the next election. The question I ask, if civil society cannot accept me as part of his cabinet, how then civil society will accept me working in the field to elect him again as prime minister? But don't you think his hands were tied though, given that no, the reaction I, from the opposition no, leader with no, no, Dennis I, Meadows? I saw no chain or rope on his hands. Don't ask my question. Viewers and my subscribers, big war are going over the JLP party. The JLP them turn against them one another. Warmington, Kosav, Darrell Vaz, and Kosav, and Joeless. Not just that, but Ennis, a labor right elect, resign from KSMAC. People have big things are going, people. Bless up to my viewers and my subscribers, them. I hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful evening. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put God first in every and uh, any situation. Just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray because a prayer day keep the devil away. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, as me say, a pure things are going over the Jamaican Labour Party right now. It coming like I say, my boy prophecy, I come true. It coming like I say, everything that was said about the Jamaican Labour Party, I come to pass now. Because Warmington turn against the party and start cussing them off, including Andrew Wallace and Darrell Vaz and a Jamaican Labour Party councillor. I resign. Kingston and St. Andrew, I go have 20 councillor fee. The PNP and 19 councillors for the JLP. So there is, there it go. There it go. Gotta work. Wanna see how gotta work, people? Who oh, say God not real? But we are gonna run the intro and come back. We're so far away. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Big up to all of my viewers, big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Alright? Now, this is a breaking news, my viewers and my subscribers. Now, former deputy mayor of Kingston, Winston Ennis, has announced that he is a stepping away from JLP and will sit as an independent councillor. His decision break the 2020 tie in the prize of KSA MC effectively and in outright control to the opposition PNP. So, him stepping away, people, make the PNP have a 20 seat in the KSMA MC and the JLP 19. So, the PNP finally win the real, real way without a tie. There is no tie now. PNP have seven and, and JLP have six now. But listen to what I'm um, here to say, people. Social media, I just want you all to know that. I have walked away from the Jamaica Labour Party. I've walked away from the KSAMC. I won't be going down there to be sworn in. I have to protect my dignity. I have to protect my values. And I have to protect my family. And the way I've been treated and disrespected, I am not having any more of it. And I've walked away. So officially, I am an independent until I return to Jamaica on the 3rd. I am leaving here tomorrow morning and I will return on the 3rd. I am tired of the disrespect and I am going no further with it. Sorry that I may have disappointed some of you in this group because I know a lot of you, you know, look up to me and see me as somebody you can, you know, talk to, somebody you would like to have around. But the cup is full and my heart is overflowing. And my family say I should walk, and I'm walking. Sorry, 
for the disappointment I may have caused some of you. But life goes on. Okay. Each and every so people, this man say he has been threatened. You know, say a big war they go on at the JLP right now. And I be your things are going people. But stick around because I will bring you the latest as it jump. People, I will let you um hear everything that is going on. No. I know that alone I go on people. I know that alone I go on. No, there is not a tie in the KSMAC again. It is a tie break. Because JLP now end up with 19 seats and PNP have 20. So effectively, effectively, PNP just win the prize right away, outright without a tie. Them not have to use popular vote for win again. Them win right away because JLP now have seven, um, six seats. So now we can tell you to say, God is in control. I'm telling you to say, a prayer a day, keep the devil away. Talking about the devil. Uno no see what go on over here, so. Uno no see what go on, people. Make me tell you what go on right here, so. Now, Warmington speak for the first time since controversial comment. Embattled member of parliament, Everal Warmington, has rejected the statement from the office of the prime minister that he resigned from the cabinet. In an interview with TVJ News on Tuesday, Mr. Warmington said, he was fired by the Prime Minister Andrew Wallace over his controversial comment last week where he threatened to withhold funds from a PNP councillor. Now people, on hear what I want people, now me I go play the video and you guys can take a listen, take a look and leave your honest opinion down below in the comment section. When we come back, we speak some more about this thing that Warmington a cuss off the Prime Minister. We have more video for play as well, people. Pim said to me, should divulge more and say ask the question. That um, because of civil society, you can't keep me there. But at the same time, he's asking me to go in the field to work for the party for his next election. The question I ask, if civil society can't accept me as part of his cabinet, how then civil society will accept me working in the field to elect him again as Prime Minister. But don't you think his hands were tied though, given that no, the reaction I, from the opposition no, leader with no, no, Dennis I, I Meadows? I saw no chain or rope on his hands. Don't ask me a question. Meadows, as I said, is a different case from mine entirely. He was promoting criminality. I was not, never yet. Okay? But in terms of civil society, and there are some others in Labour Party who force him to... Back to the OPM statement, Mr. Warmington said his remarks were misunderstood and were focused on the fact that MPs direct funds for constituencies and councillors direct funds for the municipal corporations. Of note, however, Mr. Warmington also stated in the video that he was the Minister of Works when pointing out that no PNP councillor is going to get his money. So we asked him to clarify. Can you point to a single minister who has the ability or, or the right or any, any avenue to which a minister can locate funds for the minister? So why did you say you're the Why did you make that statement? You can't answer me a question and ask me another question. But you're the one who made the statement, Mr. Warman. Can, can you tell me one minister that, that does or who can? Answer the question and I come to you. So why did you make the statement then? Because it's my mouth. I don't have the permission to speak. I don't pay lies to my mother, darling. I don't. But I, I would say that same minister was a slip of the tongue anyhow. Mr. Warmington went further to defend his track record and integrity while serving the JLP for the past 55 years. He stressed that his name has never been called in any criminal activity. But over the years, uh, Mr. Warmington, in all fairness, you've had a record of being dismissive towards the media, being disrespectful towards the opposition counterpart. Why not? I speak my mind. Is that disrespectful? No. If you are hypocrite and hide what you have to say, then you can say that. But I don't know about um, um, disrespectful. I call disrespectful. I don't need to about disrespectful. I speak my mind because I'm an upfront person. I'm not going to play games and smile with you and at your back and I stab you. No, no, no. You must know where I feel. At all times. Now, in regards to his future in the JLP and whether he will be supporting the party, this is what Mr. Warmington had to say. After 55 years, I've finished working with the Labour Party. At this stage, I'll be working for a few selected candidates they want me to. My election may be a year or so. I'll be working in Southwest St. Catherine. 
have resigned as chairman of the Area Council too. Okay? And my national profile in working with the party, I think that is in doubt now. I have no regrets to have worked for Andrew Onis then. I have none at all because I don't regret anything I do. I have no regrets. I haven't worked for him then. Help him. You can even say protect him then against the vipers. I have no regret. But the issue is, the question is, will I do it again? Now, people, listening to Warmington, you must say Warmington, no regret nothing at all what him do. And right now, Warmington bitter because Warmington, I make you know, say, he must support Andrew Wallace for so long. He must protect Andrew Wallace. He must like Andrew Wallace protector. And when you check it out, Andrew Wallace just turn him back on him just like that. And he's against Andrew Wallace for that. And he would have never protect Andrew Wallace again. As you can hear at the last part of the video. He said, will I do it again? That is the question. And you must know, say, him now going to do that again. Now, Warmington have a big problem, you know, with Christoph Tant. No, Daryl Vaz, I should say. And Andrew Wallace because of what they have done. And inside of parliament, people, him and them even catch up in a parliament as well. Now, I have this video to play for you guys. But I want you to leave a like on this video. Give it a thumbs up. Let us get this video to at least 2,000 likes. Because God is in control. And I got to work. Now, it no matter what amount of woe you work. Once God say things have to tap right this up, it has got to tap. And God speak and things have stopped in, in a check right this up. Now, the Prime Minister call an emergency meeting. An emergency meeting with every member. Right now, as we speak, people, so we don't know where they go on. But people, check out this video right here, right now. Minister, uh, is there any method or, as such within your ministry or scope where you can make a location to, to councillors? Not to, not to my knowledge, member. Is there, is, there, is there such a privilege or opportunity in any other ministry? Do you know if any other ministry can do that? Not that, not that I know of. But then, if that's the case, so you're making a statement, you made a statement the other day, where I'm concerned that you disassociate yourself from the statement I made in a location. If it is not within a minister's to do it, power. Then why are you making such a statement in the observer? I said to a general question, is that the general question? He's yeah. making that be associated with allocation from ministry councillor. Member. Yeah, you know Member. that it's not possible. Then why are you making such a statement? Chairman. No. Chairman, let me make it clear for all who have ears to hear and eyes to see. I do not support partisan political politics at any level. Whether it's a council level, MP level, our government level and as a minister of government that will never happen under my watch in any way shape or form that is beyond my pay grade member will hello hello that's beyond my pay grade minister minister the mic, the mic is not on for the member and so you don't have to respond to it let's concentrate on the spokesperson on the opposition side. Mini member Paul member, well. member Paul well, you have the floor. Yes. Um, Doesn't seem like you have learned anything. Now, people, as you can hear right there, people, a pure bangarang a galang in a parliament. A pure bangarang a galang in a the Jamaican Labour Party. Everybody turned against everybody. Warmington not having it. And Warmington have a lot of secret leak. I mean, no, say, before the week, I don't know, I go hear a bag of bangarang, and that is why Andrew Wallace hurry up and call a meeting. But Warmington no in with Andrew Wallace because Warmington say, Andrew Wallace turn him back on him, and Daryl Vaz turn him back on him as well because Daryl Vaz a distance himself from Warmington. So people, you know, see what they go on, people? The one little time them teeth up election, everything turned back way. Them, 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 them armor, them counselor, they turn against them, say my go independent and all of that people. So, I don't see what they go on. The whole thing is just a mess. 
And then two weeks from now, you hear the same council that they can over on the PNP side too, you know. A few weeks from now, you hear the same council on the PNP side, can run for the PNP side as well. So people, check it out. All of the people that run from over the Labour Party, say be a corruption and all of that. People are checking people's life. Council are checking council life. MP the chicken council life. And them they sitting in the galang in the Jamaican Labour Party right now, people. So you don't have a bag of things for you, people. You understand me? I say so you don't need to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. Because there's a lot going on inside the Jamaican Labour Party. A big things are going on in the Jamaican Labour Party right now, my people. So you don't need to stay tuned. You don't need to subscribe if you're not having subscribers yet. Now you wanna think about everything we are going, people. You don't think I gotta work. I don't be honest with me. I don't feel say I gotta work, people. All of the corruption, all of the thiefness, all of the buyout, all of the sellout were going, people. I don't feel say I gotta work. Now, I know say I don't soon hear about Venetia as well. I know say fear time I come up over there. I don't soon hear about her as well, people. But in the meantime, stay to talk down below in the comment section. Alright? And remember to leave a like on this video. Give it a thumbs up. And let us get to 90k subscribers, people. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Share the video with a friend, a family, a loved one, anybody. As from what did they are observer on a trend, as if them trying to sanitize GLP from vote buying. And I find this absolutely hilarious. So electors claim they collect thousands. The GLP and PNP say they did not pay. representatives of the jamaica labor party and the people's national party have bemoaned the impact of money on last week's local government elections while accusing their opponents of buying votes this has been a regular allegation following recent elections in jamaica with most politicians claiming their hands are clean while pointing fingers at the other side I find this absolutely hilarious. It is, it is hilarious. It is disingenuous. Especially for the GLP. And I'm not for one moment saying that the PNP don't buy vote too. But especially for the GLP to be talking about vote ban when they've never hidden it. They don't hide it. They're not ashamed with it. So why them complaining? And you know why I say them complaining? Because last week, immediately after the election... Juliet Cuthbert Finn and Marlene Malahu Ford complain. Now today, look who have the audacity to complain. I bet you say you can't believe this. To Rockstone, kill a vase himself. Now imagine this. Daryl Vaz is going to complain about vote buying. I started to notice that trend from the 2011 election and it has gradually gotten worse. And when I say worse, it is that there are people on both sides of the political divide who are not prepared to vote without getting some form of benefit, whether it's cash or kind. And you are very kind with your benefits, right, sir? Don't it? You see... I can't understand why these people are complaining. Them say them win. So why are them complaining? It don't make no sense. When PNP lost the election of, in 2020, several officials from the PNP did say that both van played a factor. And the JLP dismissed it. So how is it that Daryl Vaz is now saying that he noticed this from 2011? So if you notice it from 2011, sir, why when KD Knight and et al. were complaining in last year, why you say not never go so? Adapt me one, no. When you choose to dismiss it when it's not convenient for uno. Oh, I see. But in the meantime, you hear talking. Look is what is happening in the parish where you and your wife run. Come here. Come here, Mr. Vaz, and look. What going on in the said parish where you and your wife run? Where you talk about say voter buying it vote buying is a problem. Look here now.
Look here, sir, again now. So, for Mr. Vaz, of all people, to be complaining about vote ban is actually ludicrous. It is downright ludicrous. JLP wanna talk and offend somebody else for talk about vote ban. Cuthbert, yeah, Malawo Fort, yeah, even Creary, but definitely not a brother, yeah. Not a brother, yeah. Because this brother's face, when you see this brother's face, you actually think about vote buying. So to find somebody else be your spokesperson against vote buying. And for those of you who are wondering why it is that Observer is on this quest to sanitize the JLP, let me show you why. It is simple. It is quite as simple as this. Have I said enough? Wanna understand now? Okay. That's how things set. Alright? Big up on yourself. Take care. Next time.